Hey guys, this is Zio, and welcome back to episode 15 of my Let's Play 7 Days to Die with zombies that always run and apparently hate me. So, uh, as you can see, I'm still at the base over here trying to figure out a way to get my stuff back after this giant horde decided that it's a good thing to block me up in my mine and then kill me. Which probably for them was a pretty good idea. However, for me, it's kind of bad news because uh, I've now got a horde right here just going at it for no reason. And I'm going to aggro them. Hey there. Hey guys. Hey guys. Pay attention. I'm over here. And hopefully uh, lead them away. Maybe kill a couple. Come on. Come on. In the face. There you go. One more. One more. One more. Oh, come on. Die already. How many hits does this guy take? Seriously. Sheesh. Quite a lot, apparently. Alright. Now. I hate picking up this large bone stuff. It's so useless. Alright guys, are you still paying attention? I'm over here. Here. Hey there. Hey there. I'm right here. I'm right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. I hate this club. I like the other one a lot better. Nothing behind me, nothing behind me, good. Come on. Oh, and they flooded my mind too, bastards. Wow, oh, there's a lot of them in there. Quite a lot of them in there. Who's hitting me? Oh jeez, there's a lot of crawlers. All right, nah, this is going to uh, to have to wait. We're going to have to deal with this later. We're going to go back to our base and deal with that stuff in a little bit. Unfortunately, all our stuff is there. That's kind of problematic. But hopefully they will uh, they'll be gone by the time I come back. And I guess we should do something uh, to prepare for uh, the feral night, since it does not help us to try to get that stuff over there. It would just take too long. Maybe if I do stuff over here for a little while, they will stop bothering me at the mine. They sometimes tend to go away by themselves. But they seem to be really having a lot of fun destroying my place that I built with, uh... With quite a lot of, uh... Time spent on it, actually. So let me grab this stuff. We're not gonna need it. And we are going to need a health kit, so... We're definitely going to grab it and put it in the, uh, the main area. And I almost finished myself off with the bar barbed wire. So that was a lot of zombies, I must say, inside there. Quite a bit more than I thought. I thought some of them would at least be uh, be outside, and not bothering us. But it seems they all decided to go inside. I should have probably uh, dealt with that a little bit differently. So live and learn, right? Don't run back all the way into your base because your zombies will follow and kill you, and then they'll be stuck there, and you'll be screwed. So. Let's see, can I grab some kind of... oops, did not need to do that. Oh well, I don't care. We'll deal with that later. I don't have time for this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need the pistol. We're also going to grab a knife, even though it's... Uh, no, we're just going to make a proper weapon, is what we're gonna do. We have some... 
ingots. One, two, three, four. And some wood. And let's make that into sticks. And then, oops, we're gonna need one more ingot. Okay, and now one, two, three, four. I'm not sure how many we need. Just like that. There we go. Okay, and we'll need our grain alcohol. Or actually, let's just put this in here, and I think there's a whole one. Yep, there it is. We're just gonna go ahead and use that now. Because we are uh, gonna be pretty much full after this. There we go. So now we have a weapon again, and a pistol, and we're going to grab some more ammo. And now we'll just stick this stuff in here, like that, and I'm going to take one barrel just in case. Should have probably did something with those pipe bombs I made, or maybe thrown them at them or something like that. But I really uh, wasn't thinking of to uh, tell you that. I was more shocked about having 50 zombies outside my door, or however many there were. Probably more like 30. Okay, so now let's go back in here and grab some ammo. I'm just gonna have to do a lot of shooting for this, and hopefully uh, this isn't going to take us so much time that we're going. Uh oh, I think I left all the ammo in there. Great. That's not good at all either. So let's hope we can. Let's hope the zombies left actually, because I really don't know how to get them out of there. That's going to be a difficult part. And I had all the stuff pretty much that we needed for the Feral Knight on me. So it would be very useful if uh, if I could get it. Because uh, I really would not want to sit in there without any ammunition and all the stuff that I had on me for building the wall, etc. Let's see. It's kind of quiet, right? I don't hear anything. Maybe they did leave. Yeah, I don't hear anything. Hmm. Maybe they did leave. Yeah, they flooded my mind, that's for sure. They definitely flooded my mind. Glad they're gone, though. Bastards. Alright, at least we got our stuff back. So, we're not completely screwed for this night. And I'm, I'm sure glad I don't have to fight however many there were. There was way too many for me to fight. Look at that. I flooded everything. My whole mine is flooded. Completely. Alright, so uh, well, while we're here, I guess we might as well get a little bit more iron. Or uh, stone, rather. And let's hope that does not happen again, because that was very, very, very unpleasant. I hate surprises like that. And before I, uh, I start doing stuff with the mine again... Zombies? I'm paranoid now. I'm gonna be paranoid for the next week recording these videos, thinking the zombie horde is gonna show up behind me. Because I really don't even know how to deal with that. I mean... You're kind of locked. I thought about breaking out through the other side, but those frames are, are sturdy. It, it's not that easy to destroy with an axe. Apparently the zombies are much, much better at destroying walls than I am. And actually, that makes me think, like, how long that cobblestone wall gonna hold if uh, that many zombies show up? It's probably not gonna be very long. Uh, I, I reckon that uh, that wall can hold up twice as long as this, but that was seconds, and... I mean, I couldn't even repair it fast enough. There's just nothing you can do. They're gonna break through, and 
There is just absolutely nothing that I can do to stop that. I can try to repair it, I can try and shoot them, but that was just too many for that. So I think I'm going to uh, place some of those barrels in uh, strategic locations. And I'm going to use them to blow up some of those zombies at the risk of uh, drawing even more of them towards me. But that's just the risk I'm going to have to take. So we're going to have to finish mining, and uh, I'm going to fast forward this part real quick, and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I'm back now at our base with some of our wood. Fortunately, there was no more zombies coming after me. We've had certainly enough for one day. And I'm really glad they decided to leave us in peace for those last few hours of the non feral night day. And soon they'll be showing up again, this time with uh, blood in their minds. They'll want to eat my brain. And they'll be feral, so they'll know exactly where I'm at. And this wall, hopefully, will help us by funneling them, because I sure don't think it will stand up to the kind of horde that showed up today. If it's anything like that, that wall is going to be rubble in about 10 minutes of game time. So, and we have to survive about, what, 7 hours roughly? I think probably maybe like 6 if we're lucky and they don't show up all instantly. Okay, we're going to need more cobblestones. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to cook the rocks into cement in order to make the cobbles, and that is risking another horde showing up, but there is absolutely nothing I can do about that. Hordes show up, they will always show up. Okay, so let's cook down maybe 12, 6, 6 for now. Let's do 10. No, actually, it's too many. Let's do eight. That should be good. We're going to need four minutes. That's about one coal. So let's do that. One in there. Let's cook this one down, too. Also eight. All right. Now let's uh, let's see what else we need. Can put up the, uh, the ammunition stuff. The candy tin cans. And the spare pistol we're going to leave here as well. And the spare spike club. That should be a last us enough, I think. And the bandage goes in here with the blood and alcohol, and let's make us a kit. We're going to grab two of them with us for this night. I was going to take only one, but after what just happened, I've changed my mind, and we're going to take two with us because uh, it seems that we might be losing a lot of health. see how, uh, how this is going. Let's uh, take some of the cement and make the cobblestones out of it. And we could make some iron wall, but that's really not something I want to get into right now. Instead, let's see if we can make, uh, make some scrap iron frames, maybe. Or I bet there's no scrap door. That would be helpful. Hmm, this should be enough. The gravel we can leave. The venison we'll leave, actually. Let's, uh... Let's cook down some of this venison. Venison, let's boil it this time. Okay. 
And we have 120 bullets, that should be enough. We have uh, beer and coffee in the other uh, chest. We added our Doherty, we have... Uh, where's our pipe bombs? Hmm. I think I left those in the house as well. I'm gonna have to check on that. But apart from that, I think we got everything that we're gonna need. Mostly. At least uh, for now. So let's let's uh, let's cut down these wood planks into some stakes. We're going to replace the small stakes. We're definitely going to need those. They may be extremely ineffective, but we really need everything we can get at this moment. That uh, that horde that showed up really really makes me uh, worried about what's coming up. So I'm probably going to overdo our preparations. Uh, well, if that, that's even possible, I'm not so sure about that. Let's uh, let's eat our boiled venison actually. That'd be better. There we go. Um, might as well grab it with us. I don't think it will change anything, especially since it's a feral knight. I wish we had a shotgun. That would make me feel a lot better about things, that's for sure. Okay, so all we're waiting now is... We're just waiting for this to finish, and it looks like it's almost done. And this one actually is done. Excellent. And this is almost done. So I think we're going to be okay with this. 43... 45... Well, let's add one more in each. And that should help. Mm, yeah, that will be it. And let's grab two more barrels. Just in case we do need to blow up stuff. And I really should have done stuff with the rebar frames now that I saw what the horde can do. Okay, let's grab our stuff and let's go down and try to finish up our feral shelter. Hopefully we will be prepared enough for what's coming up. So let's upgrade this layer that I already put down first. That'll be part one. Okay. And then we'll think about what to do about actual defenses. This wall is not really a defense, it's just a way to slow them down. I guess I could have made it out of wood. That would have probably been better, but at least this way it will hold up. Unlike the, uh, the mine, which did not at all. I'm going to be doing a lot more upgrading of the wood frames now. I did not expect them to break that fast. It's probably because there was so many of them. Uh, there was probably like five or six hitting each block, which was just ridiculous. I mean, like I opened that door and there was just like 20 zombies looking right at me from like the three blocks around the door. And the chances of me getting out were less than 0%. <laughs> there was just no way to get around them. I would have had to like jump from zombie's head to jump zombie's head to get away. <laughs> and I don't think they have that mechanic in yet. Zombie parkour. <laughs> Although that would be pretty cool. Alright. So, uh, we're almost done with the wall. And after this is done, I'm going to build a wall kind of forwards from where the entrance is. And I'm going to lower or uh, narrow the gap in between those two walls since we want as few zombies to be able to get through at a time as possible. Uh, I knew I was going to run out. Good thing we got all that uh, stone. Or maybe not because that's actually what got me killed. So probably not. That was not the best idea in retrospect. Okay, so let's. Let's place a couple cobbles. 
I think here, here, and then we're kind of going to... Actually, no, I have a better idea. We're going to go out a couple here and kind of make a killing space for them. We need more frames. But let's upgrade these first. There. I don't think I'll be adding any uh, any barbed wire to this wall, but I think I will make some of those little fences. If you uh, saw my farming video, I had those placed outside. They're they're very ineffective, but it's better than nothing, and nothing is kind of what we got. I mean, th those wood spikes are so overpowered compared to all the other defenses, it's not even funny. And they're not even hard to make either, it, I really don't get it. They made stuff either almost useless or so powerful that it makes the game almost, you know, autoplay. I mean, if zombies just walk against your base and die, where's, where's the fun in that? I mean... It sucks dying to like 30 zombies, but <laughs> that was kind of fun, I must admit. Alright, so now... I think we're going to place our barrel, like right here. So that will be the first thing we blow- oh. That was stupid. This is the first one that we'll blow up. And kind of want to make this so they slow down. Yeah, I'll put the little fences here, the barbed wire fences. That's what I'll do. And let's make a few more cobblestone frames. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna need like about twenty. one down here for now. And I keep taking out my hammer like it's going to do anything. Keep forgetting this is not concrete or wood. Okay. So now to uh, finish this, let me uh, let me get a few of these grass and uh, let me fast forward it and I'll see you guys in just a sec. Okay, I got the grass that we needed and I'm currently making the cobblestone frames. So let's place a few that we got already. Like right so, right there, right here. And get our hammer out as usual because I keep forgetting stuff. And now let's fill these up. And I think I'm going to actually create another one of these killing rooms that I'll be hopefully be able to shoot into. And along this way, but I think that might be better done with uh, with regular wood frames. So wood frame, let's make about twenty, and only part of it will be cobblestone. Okay, so let's see what that looks like from above. So if we kind of block this part off, I think that will be good. And then we'll make another room over here with another barrel and a door right there. So then when they break through, they'll all kind of pull in here and then we'll all blow them up. So that's the plan. Okay, let's go down right here. Okay. One more room. And it is getting dark rather quickly, so we are having to hurry now. Definitely getting dark. Yeah, 
And I did grab the scrap iron with us, just in case I need to start making something in a hurry. That will need to stand up better than the cobblestone if they start breaking in. But I really hope I don't have to use it. Alright, looks like we're going to be done with this in time. Okay, now for the door. Uh, I'm in a hurry so I'm clicking all over the place. Okay, now we need more sticks. Okay, so let's place our door. Right there. Upgrade. Okay. And the barrel is good. So now let's build more cobbles here. Stone rocks. Now we need to leave this open because I'm not sure if they're going to bother coming through the door if I essentially double door it. So, mm. yeah, I'm just gonna place a bunch of those little uh, barbed wire things. Uh, let me run upstairs real quick and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and now I'm I'm going to place another barrel right here. Okay. And... I do want to use this one more barrel. I'm not sure where to place it though, honestly. So I'm just going to take it with us. Or actually, maybe this is a not a bad idea. Maybe I should place it right there. Or actually... Maybe right here. Maybe they won't walk over it. Maybe they'll blow it up and kill themselves. And that would be wonderful. Counting on the stupidity of zombies here. Okay, I have a few frames, some cobblestone rock, cobblestone rocks if I need to build something. Barbed wire. Candles. Let's put a few candles up. Just so we know what's going on when they uh, start coming. Ouch. Put one on each of these sides. There we go. Alright, and now for some of these spikes. Hopefully this will do some damage. some of these fences, put them in here, alright, now spikes, more spikes, like so, cover basically this entire place right here. 
And the rest of it will be our barbed wire fences. Ouch. All right. Well, I guess we can put uh, put more spikes in here. All right. Okay, so that should hopefully defend us for a little bit. Uh-oh. Can't walk all the way over there. Oh, that's fine, I guess. It's This is not what I built this for. Yeah, pretty scary. Alright, so since the night is coming up, and I will be making the night a separate episode, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, the base is now built. This is as far as it's going to go, and we're going to hopefully survive this one. And uh, if not, then I guess it won't be any different than the last day, will it? <laughs> but we do expect a lot of zombies to show up, because that's what they do on Feral Night. They show up in large numbers, and they're vicious. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to make it through that night. And... Uh, I hope you guys watch the next part because uh, it will be interesting. So that'll be it for this episode and let me just climb up so you can see the uh, the final result. There we go. That's what it looks like. So. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.